I just wanted to, for the sake of the record, read the Rhode Island General Laws um, provision, the subsection that says, under the Energy Facility Siting Act, which of course vests in this board the authority to oversee the construction, the siting construction major energy facilities, uh, that, that Rhode Island General Laws 42-98-16A allows for suspension of the board's discretion and allows for the applicant to have a reasonable opportunity to remedy lack of compliance. I appreciate that the attorney for the town wanted to make us, but we have rules that regulate um, what we do with of law, and that's what I'm looking at when I look at our rules that talk about tolling time limits and allowing the board um, it actually to even go back to the beginning of the statutory period if we so wish. Um, <coughs> so I do think in this instance that the, uh, certainly a very significant, we talked about that last time, component of an energy um, plant is the water cool supply. And so we're missing, We've, we discussed that, that's why we asked for this hearing, just to sort of review where we are. You've come into the hearing and chosen not to show cause um, for why we should not suspend, but in essence are green with everyone that this process should not proceed when it lacks a water supply plan. So I think under our rules and, and our statute that the reasonable opportunity should be given to the applicant to provide that plan. I do think that in any sort of indefinite or long-term protracted um, process is at a disadvantage to the applicant and to the folks um, who have the positions as stated, like the town that opposes this plan. But I think that um, a 60-day time frame to come back and give us a status update. The motions to dismiss have been continued. There's something we can take up later, and we've read all the pleadings for and against. So, I mean, that's where I am right now, thinking that uh, under the statute and the rules that the appropriate remedy is to spend this process um, and ask the applicant to come back with those elements of the application that make it non-compliant and incomplete. Um, so I would say, let me try to um, just frame up that I would be inclined to suspend this process um, to stipulate that the things that you articulated, um, that the town articulated in the October 5th letter are at a minimum things that we would need to see, ask the applicant to come back with information and, and let us know when you feel the application is complete, at which time we'll take a look at that and other motions in front of us. Um, I don't know, and I'd be interested to hear what you both, you know, whether we want to leave that part open-ended until we get the 60-day update. Um, because I know there's things that we would have to see in order to, um, in order to lift the suspension. 